Okay. Okay. Father, we just step into the spirit right now. And we see you, Jesus. We see the, the bread. We see the wine and the beautiful goblet. And we see you breaking the bread and offering a peace to us. And we... Are you there, Bonnie? We lost you, honey. Oh, all right. Can you hear me? Now I can, yeah. I think what it was is I forgot to hit the got it on the recording. Oh, okay. Okay. You didn't hear anything? I heard just the beginning. You can start over. Sure. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, just step into the spirit right now and we see the the hollow bread and the goblet with the, the wine and we see Jesus. And we see him uh, break the bread and, and give us a piece. And we, of our free will, wholeheartedly, with great joy and happiness, we partake of your bread, Lord, that represents your broken body. And we receive everything that your broken body did for us, that you were broken so that we could be whole. And we just partake of that bread right now. Thank you. And now, Lord, we partake of your blood that's in this golden goblet, your holy, precious, sinless blood. And we receive it right now in Jesus' name. And we thank you that this blood has cleared us once and for all, past, present, and future of all of our sins. And it is finished. Thank you, Jesus. Amen and amen. Thank you, Bonnie. I saw earlier this garden host. It's the there was this garden host that has been replaced with a new one. The old one was leaking. It was in a way, you know, when it leaks, leaks out. Uh, the area where where it leaks. Yeah. It, it's got the water replenished, right? Uh, it was a little bit unintentional. What uh, color was the hose, Manny? Say it again. Oh. What color was the hose? Oh, green know? hose. It's green hose. That's what I thought. Life. Mm. So I, I, found, I almost okay. feel like there was this up upgrade, like this garden hose. Um, so it's almost like the gardener, he replaces it with a, with a different one. This time, this one, water comes out. It's almost like as if in some fountain, right, that there are these water play. It splashes out with certain pattern. So it, it wasn't because it was leaking, you know, squeezing out water. Um, You know, this this is different this time. Yeah. It's almost it was created this way. Thank you. Did who who was who wanted to say something? Was that Grace or Dawn? Or Eloisa? <laughs> Go ahead, anybody. 
I'm imagining that it was like one of those soaker hose, only it's twisted in some kind of design. And then as the streams come up, it's this glorious fountain. <laughs> and it's <laughs> spraying up and then, you know, there'll be a pause and then it'll mm. form a different, a different configuration and then it'll spray up and another and it's just beautiful. Well, when we are doing, uh, uh, what is it, the Lord's Supper, uh, the spirit of uh, communion, after that, I saw the group of uh, the seven disciples and Jesus while they're doing it. And we are there too, in the one room. And then very vivid the uh, cup, the cup who has the blood, who's the gold cup and holding of Jesus. And it's sprinkling. It's shining. Ooh. That's so beautiful color. Cool. What, um, Eloisa, what color is it again? It's a gold. Gold, okay. Mm -hmm. However, what Mandy said is like, I'm watching uh, earlier about how to do a deep well in the in the ground in my country, and then the water is flowing from it. They're using the green pipe. I was thinking about wow, what a coincidence! And they're showing <laughs> how, how to dig the water and the layers of, of each water. And the, at first, it's dirty, and as it keeps going on, it's getting clearer and clearer. Yeah. And, it's a farmer, and I see, I see uh, earlier. That's what uh, Mandy is uh, saying earlier. It's everything is what, what I watch. <laughs> wow, that's great! I love that. It's it's like uh, um, the Lord is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So um, listening to uh, you guys share, I, I just am feeling this overwhelming sense again of uh, this upgraded life and uh, abundance and health and freshness and newness and yeah. I like the word restoration. That's beautiful, Barb. So again, um, this is even something that doesn't need to be restored, Barbara. This is something completely different what i'm seeing is like the restoration to the way god created us before adam and eve fell into um sin and so as i was reading this week it, it calls about the realm of death and so we're getting restored out of that realm of death into the realm that god created where everything is fresh and new all the time that's what I'm yeah. seeing being restored. Original intent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, mm. I feel that we're actually going beyond that because okay. I'm not there know, yet. <laughs> I know, I know. And I, I really <laughs> don't know how to explain it, but this, uh, that was then. Mm -hmm. This is now. Yes, yes. And we're moving forward. I mean, he's got. Oh, yes. We're moving forward since Christ. I'm not saying going yes. back to Adam. Yes. I'm just getting out of that nature that we inherited from him. Yeah. It's getting this is, that, right? <laughs> that's just new to me. How to get free. It's just believe. Just believe. 
believe in a little work here and there, right? Yes, I said uh, Jesus. What Jesus said is like, uh, you can do, you can do more than this. Yeah. Yeah. Or the words mm -hmm. that more than we can ask or imagine, or no eyes yeah. can see, or no ear can hear for what what the Lord is prepared for those who love Him. Mm hmm. And that's what loving Him is so important. I feel like this ground is shaking, mm. like the ground shook, and out of it, it came, it, it, it's, it's almost like a geyser, but some places yeah, yeah, along that crack, so it's not like a, the pit of hell, but it's almost like the earth want to cry out, it cannot contain uh, what is to be revealed, what is to, it's almost like uh, in a way, like, like these streams of water coming out from the ground. And it's almost like it creates this hot spring um, when they gather together. it So almost like, you know, I guess it have some additional value, you know, for people getting into the hot spring for, for I mean, different reasons, maybe sulfur, maybe other chemicals, maybe right, mineral. Um, So I was just almost like observing from very close to the ground level, but now I feel like I'm floating up. I'm I'm looking, I'm going from the top. <laughs> just to see this natural, almost like this phenomenon, or this is something expecting, waiting to be happening. So I've never been to Yellowstone or any in any of those places to actually see an actual geyser, but exactly like in the YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Might have been hot spring, but that's it, you know. Very limited, no, but I feel like I'm wow, it, it's actually a great scene, you know, for whatever it represents. I my I just my natural mind haven't been able to really connect with anything I know. <laughs> yeah. That is Peter is. with us? Because I what when you said that, Manny, it came to me uh -huh. that that his um the when he's talking to the woman at the well, to mm. ask him and I'll give you living water and it'll come up like a fountain from mm -hmm. your innermost being. Yeah. And that's what, you know, that the ground even is an innermost being with fountains. And we mm -hmm. are part of hmm, making yes. it happen. It's almost like this is this place is not like a like a barren land. It's almost like it's a very, very nurture place, except it was being a little bit abandoned, deserted because people didn't see the value of this land. And I almost feel like this is like a, a garden. I have I have had to look up the Bible whether like Garden Eden there was a place. There were like the, the streams that it came. I I know like uh. Like this this like the steams if I if I not just the streams of water but like the steams that goes up. Might have been somewhere in the Bible that mentioned that, because before there's ever anything called a rain, called rain. But it, it nurtured the moist, you know, the yeah, it came moisture, up from the like, ground. Like, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was before the flood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some place in the, the Genesis flood. talks about that. Yeah, they're you know, the aquifers of the earth mm. would okay. spring forth. It was, you know, it was uh like irrigation, you know. Mm. Yes. Like irrigation. So do you feel Manny, like that geyser, like you're on, like the geyser is pushing you up, and so you're you're seeing things from a uh, from a different level, from a higher level. Is that what you're saying? Is the is the water pushing you up higher, or did I miss? It's a actually, good thing I good point you you should point out because I have I almost have been when. Oh, I have not engaged with geyser myself. Okay. I, I was kind of a little bit of distance from it. I was observing from a distance. Um, a little bit about ground level, let's say like about maybe 10, 20 feet, but not really like too far, too high. 
high up so that I could actually be uh, be able to actually see it, you know, in a, in a close distance. Okay. I don't know. So so we are uh, we I don't know. Are we led to maybe finding out what geyser what they are or maybe other things along that landscape landscape to find out what that is. Yeah, I mean, it, you want to move on from this? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I don't know if you. Yeah. If yeah. You no, guys, of course. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. However, whatever the group feels, I yeah. don't. Don, you put something up here on the screen. I didn't mean to put oh. it on the screen. I was trying to get it to the chat and it got on the screen. Oh. So if you can get it over to the chat, I appreciate Oh, immortals it. walk the earth. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Boop. Oh. Thank you. Okay, you're Sorry welcome. about that. That's oh, okay. So it's, it's like <laughs> <laughs> um, if, you, if you take a picture of it, And where do you want to put it? Uh, Don, where do you want to put that? I uh, in the chat. Okay. Oh, I don't. I you know what? I don't know how to get it in the the Zoom okay. chat. It's fine. It don't have to go. In. I put it on your um messenger, messenger too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. I'll share it in. So yeah, however everyone feels, um, if you would like to, as a group, mosey through the garden that we've been in, or do you guys want to stay here? Manny mentioned uh, doing a little more exploring. You guys okay with that? Are we all good with that? Hello? Anybody? Yeah, I'm good with it. Good with it. Move on. Okay. All right. So, okay. Thank you. Uh, so, Manny, uh, just go ahead and, and uh, lead us forward there, if you wouldn't mind. Mm. Yeah, we could ascend up further. Because earlier, I think, was it Grace, you mentioned, you know, ascension, descension. But I almost feel like there is a descension part that we were going in to see some earth, earthly phenomenon, earth changing uh, things. But we could, I, we could definitely go up back, go back up to the air and see uh, what comes next. Definitely stepping into other realms. Okay. And I feel like immediately, like before I even realized it, I feel like we were given keys now. Keys. Some keys, yeah, like the the unlocked doors, the type of keys. You know, they're like ancient keys. Key. They're um, they're skeleton keys. They look like. Is that true, Manny? I can't hear. Can you say it again? They look like skeleton keys, ancient keys. Yes, yes, ancient keys, yeah. Not the modern keys, yes. Ancient. So I want to say that before we get into this further, when we, uh -huh, Saba, we, when um, Manny was talking about the water, you know, and at one point I was seeing like from the ground, like I was in the depths of the ground and I was seeing this gorgeous, this turquoise color. And, um, and then as I looked up and he was mentioning about the hose with the water, like I started seeing the water, but as I saw the water, I also saw the water turned into like vines, like beautiful green vines with a lot of beautiful foliage on it. And, mm. and it was, it was, it was going upward, you know, and then I saw this thing. It was kind of like um, an old um, kind of like ancient bricks, like of a wall. And um, these um, vines, they kept going higher and higher and higher and higher. And um, then you said something about ancient key. What was the last sentence you said it, as it go higher and higher? It was going higher, like these vines were growing and like they were spanning out, you know, the water became these vines and, and um, 
and they were spanning out and they were like on a like a some kind of like if you were like over and I would say like it, an English garden and you would see these vines growing up like a, a brick type wall yeah and but it was an older wall it wasn't you know it was like an ancient wall so you feel like this vine might be I don't know if it's in a good way a bad way like no, they were life. They were green. They were, yeah, they were, life. Yeah, they were no good. Bad. Right? Is it but I bad? think there's something in this with you're talking about an old key. So let let's let's travel up with these vines, or if you see it as the water pushing you up like a geyser, I think it all represents the same thing. So let let's let's do that. Like so, when I saw the water, like I didn't see it so much as a geyser as much as I saw it like. Um, fanning out, like uh -huh. not a big gush, not a big gush of a geyser, no, but it was very gentle rain water. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and it became instantly, it became vines with greenery, very rich greenery. And now, mm -hmm. like I could see to the top of the wall, there's a bright light at the very top of this. It's not even a wall anymore. It's just, it's just, it's kind of like drawing us up. Yeah, An another realm. Another realm. I I'm kind of curious. Did you see who handed us the keys? Was that Manny that saw the keys, or or Dawn? Or I or almost feel like it was. It has always been with us. Okay. But now it's always like. All of a sudden, oh, I saw myself in, on my hand are these keys. I didn't yeah. realize that I was having it. <laughs> yeah. So he's revealing that. Yeah. That mystery within us. Mm. Okay. So we're we've gone up. Uh this, I'll call it this growth of newness, freshness, abundance, uh, vibrant life into this different realm of some type. And maybe you guys could share what you, what you sense at this Ooh. yeah, yeah. Uh, there was this light portal being opened up it's almost like hovering right above uh one one of the streams uh, from the water that came out from the ground yeah and it's like hovering on just right on top of it you know it, it's like a glowing yellow warm yellow uh color it wasn't like a blinding or anything yeah. it just Please to look at and might be a little bit fuzzy in 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 the middle. And yeah, it spreads out light. It just feels so good to see it there, as if it's like an opening or something. Yeah, and I'm feeling warmth on this right now. Do we? Should we? It sounds, it sounds like an invitation to to step into that. Yes, it is. So let's let's do that, guys. Mm -hmm. Just step in on the count of four. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, and four. And share whatever you get, even if it's different. Don't save it, just just blurt it out. <laughs> It'll all shake out and make sense. Well, I just, I just saw when we all arrived that we're all going, whoa, wow, <laughs> with our mouths open, but I, I still can't see anything. You know, I'm looking around, but I don't see anything. Yeah. Okay. Just the light. Okay. 
When you said with our mouths open, I, I saw mm -hmm. little birds with their mouths open to be fed. Yeah, and when you also, Bonnie, when you shared that, I I opened my mouth yeah, and drank uh, the the droplets of that that golden light, um, you know, landed in my mouth, and it was like a you know honey. So the sweetness, you know, the sweetness of this place. What came to me is that the, the vines, you know, represent uh, when Jesus said, I am the vine, you are the branches. Mm -hmm. Then we stepped into the light. He said, I'm also the light. Yes. And it's just like he's wanting to reveal different dimensions of himself. Yeah. That we will just be overwhelmed with how, how amazing uh, Jesus is. Uh, when you said honey and everything, and I thought about that wall again, it's honey in the rock. Came to me. It's yeah. like honey in the rock. He's the rock. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good ages. I feel like I was myself, like the first round I got transported to, I found myself under the water, underneath. It wasn't too far from, from the surface, from the top, where I could still see the light shimmering about mm -hmm. me. And I saw these fishes swimming across as if they realized that all of a sudden, you know, the moment ago I wasn't there and now I am. <laughs> Almost like they were happy for me. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's surprised, but not so surprised. I don't know if it's, uh, I feel like they're not really being deterred or being scared away. Manny, is that the river of life you're in, do you think? Mm. It could be, but it's almost like deeper than I thought. Um, if it's river, I guess there's many different types of river too, right? And below that, Almost that there's I could go even deeper if I if I wanted to, but I guess somehow the angle I was at was when I'm first thing I'm there, I just notice, you know, it's this light coming from the top. Under this waterway, whatever that is, yeah. Do you feel like there are many angels um, in this in this realm? I can I notice them moving around like on the outskirts of where we are. They're not real close to us, but they're present. It's not that you mentioned about angel as if the angel I saw it pointed like toward there's this certain structure like a cave caves um, underwater these places so the angels tell me again what the angels are doing feel like almost as if it wasn't exactly a point, but it's almost like when I noticed this person, you know, as soon as you said that, then associating with it as if they're either guarding the caves, you know, like a mountain caves, but this is like an underwater caves. Okay. So, yeah, I get what you mean. Yeah. I'm not a, like a scuba diver, so I've never been like underwater. <laughs> <laughs> It will be fun. <laughs> Everybody has the first time. <laughs> I think maybe they're inviting us into Bonnie's resting place, you know, the underwater cave. We can do that if you guys feel like. Uh... 
maybe even like almost acknowledging the presence of these caves, wherever, whatever they're doing, whoever leads. Okay. Yeah, um, I get, I get what you mean. They're showing, you they're like showing us these, these caves. Mm -hmm. So let's, um, you know, Manny, since you saw that, would you, could you just kind of lead the group in? into that sure yes yeah, so let's let's swim toward that and feel free also i guess to engage with the angels that whatever angel is doing be they be guarding it um we could even ask the angel to show us to present us like a real report of anything or they might be needing something from us too okay if, yeah. if that's like a part of the heritage of the lord that he wants us sons to inherit or oh, showing us the way to free the lesson like share what you what you see when you engage with the angels and almost feel like because it's also fishes like teaming with like this is almost like uh the fish is walking, coming us into this living habitat, and that carries life as like the earth water, the earthly water river. You know, it, it's a manifestation of, of like a higher realm of river, river life, right? I don't know if it is realm, like, is if it's like a physical place on earth or not. I don't know. I have no idea. But if you guys feel anything, feel free to share. I don't know if I maybe I don't know. I just feel if you guys feel free to check check out inside a cave, uh, feel free to do so. But if you guys want to be around the cave and other things you felt led to do, I don't mind definitely. Can you hear me? Can anybody hear me? I can hear you now. Were you talking before? Well, I keep getting a little menu saying my default microphone is not working or something like that. But I was saying that as I go into the caves, I'm seeing those long green, uh, you know, like three feet tall spires of leaves. You know how they float kind of and they're long and tall. Yeah. The bottom of the cave. I'm, I'm kind of going through those. Thank what you. What was it? The three feet tall? What was it? Yes, about about three feet from the ground. It's just you know they're bending and flowing in the in the water and the current. You know, the, oh the coral. No, it's like it's like green mm. leaves. You know, mm. like a spire, like two inches wide and three feet tall, and they're just floating around with the current of the water under the water. You know, but it's but it's not seaweed. It's it's prettier. You know. So Jill, it, it's okay, right? What well, earlier I just felt like the last moment I felt like uh, I just might as well just open up to, you know, everybody to see what you guys want to explore instead of I guess homing and in, going into the cave. Of and course. Like, yeah. How you know? If everybody would even just. Even though I pointed out the cave, but I. Yeah. Just, I wasn't exactly quite sure. Yeah. Well, I'll share. I went in. Yes. And I just saw many gemstones mm. um, that make up the, the tunnel of the cave. And I see that it goes far back. So I was walking through. Mm. And then 
I came to the same light that we saw earlier, you know, in the portal. And so that's where I was, just. So we might even have, you know, come out from the portal inside a cave then. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> huh. So, uh, so Barney, earlier, because when you said, like, you were looking at the ground and looking at the, the leaves flowing uh, according to the current of the water, and I then I was also looking at the ground, too. And there are, uh, like, a, almost like a settlements. There are, there are almost like an abandoned um, almost like an abandoned treasure. I just felt as almost like people, some people, they gave it up or wasn't able to unearth it. I don't know if there's like, a, I don't know if there's even some ship or anything in this area in the past, but it's like a treasure being abandoned and it's now sort of halfway buried uh, in the seabed or in, in this riverbed or this like a big waterway. I don't feel like this this like waterway. The more I look, I feel like this is actually bigger than I thought. Um, it's like my perspective changes too. It's, oh, I wouldn't call it a river anymore. I want to, oh, I don't know. It's maybe next to like, a, you know, an ocean or something that places that it will potentially open up to an ocean if it's not ocean itself yeah so so when you saw that i i heard we have this treasure in earthen vessels and all of a sudden i began to realize that there have mm. been many in in the body of christ that have um lost what originally was um the treasure that god had placed within them and mm. um Lord. i believe like right now we're bringing this to the forefront to the forefront um, so that, um, uh, um, those that have been in the body of Christ will, will, um, take up this residence, um, ugh, Jesus, this, um, this life giving force water residence of the, um, shekra, the treasure that, uh, that has, that was originally intended for them to carry through, um, in the earth. And um, that we're restoring them to um, these treasures. We have this treasure in earthen vessels. That's what I kept getting. And I'm so overwhelming right now, guys. Um, so like earlier, we had talked about pastors and people and things that have been going on. but And, you know, that they've had to take on. Um, because people have um, put them in, in pedestals and so on. But they had an original the origin of their, uh, let's say, is we know a, something of a call in their life that they forsook. And so they gave up and they gave up and they dropped it. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh. Temporarily. <laughs> they mm -hmm. dropped it temporarily. Yeah. yeah. And, and here we are searching it out. In regards, you know, um, because we are the body of Christ, and for them to to um, seek Him out, because they're crying, they're they're crying, they're hurt, they've lost what what their vision was in this in this current age to bring them into this place. whether we call it restoration or origin or whatever, but we, we found something here that is very valuable yeah. to them as well as for us. So <clears throat> how, would we, oh, sorry. Go, how, go would we, how would we get it to them? Yeah. <sighs> 
I don't know yet. Okay. What were you going to say? Like, I feel like these treasures are like revelations huh? that God had intended. And um, they just weren't open to receive them. And so they got dropped. And they fell to the ground. Yeah, I believe that they were so pressured with the cares that were on them. Mm -hmm. That they never were able to get into the place. <clears throat> yeah, I get what you mean. Ministry burden. And even to the place of where we are in, in ascension. So, Joe, I was, uh, I was looking at these gemstones that you were, uh, you were bringing forth. Yeah. Like one of the gemstones, like when I look in you, the first thing I thought was I was, I, I, I saw like like Anna, your face. I don't know, Anna, you still with us? Anna, yeah, she's here. Uh -huh. Yes, I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like you were in case in like the glory from like it becomes like this is like you your face is emanating with the glory wow <laughs> and almost like i that's gemstone it's like you're not sorry i'm I using the wrong word like you're not encasing a gemstone but like it reflect reflecting you yeah it's reflection of you your face and now i'm also like i'm noticing now your face is emanating glory so wonderful yeah Everybody, whatever treasure or mantle or revelation been dropped, let's screw them up. Nice. Um, Peter, can you can you elaborate a little bit more? Yes, whatever you're seeing as far as any type of treasures, whether it's revelations or mantles, whatever people didn't take in the past that they could have, we take it up and we can receive for ourselves and then just use it on the earth mm -hmm. to bless people or distributed on the earth to other people that should should have had it. Lord, whatever you have for us, we receive it. We just scoop it up, these treasures, we take it into ourselves. Yeah, we talked about how we might <clears throat> redistribute them to the people that that left them. Yeah, because catch and release. We catch it and release it. Catch and release. <laughs> That's <laughs> cute. <laughs> It goes in line with what Manny just said in regard to, was it Anna, that um, we are to um, release these treasures in this wall that you're seeing that has the stones, the gemstones. So in other words, that they would be united back into the living stones that we're seeing that are so brilliant in this wall, in this cave. Oh, okay, this yeah. I really like that, yeah. That's really good. Yeah. Because we're like conduits. Definitely. Yes. And really, that tunnel that I, or cave, tunnel cave, I'll call it. You know, at a little ways down, there was that same light. So it's mm -hmm. almost as if it's it, it's attached to us, right? Mm -hmm. It's flowing. It's kind of an odd picture. Um, but I, I do think that it's uh, something that is flowing, that uh, is flowing from us at the same time, even though we're standing it, we're looking at it. But... It, it's multi-dimensional, so uh, releasing mm -hmm. it into the wall, I, I can't explain it, but releasing it back into the wall is is uh, releasing it to us, through us, so that we can uh, restore it back to mm -hmm. those people. And like Peter mm -hmm. said, uh, to others that may pick it up. Yeah, because earlier when I saw that old wall 
And then we found this treasure that had been left. Mm -hmm. So that that which was before has now become new yeah. in this place where we are, where there's the brilliance of the stones and the light that they would be drawn to that light once again. And yeah. that they would find the perspective. So when I see these stones, the perspective on the stones is like the facets of yeah. the stone, the brilliance of them. That they would they would once again be nurtured by that light that would bring them back into the fullness mm -hmm. of of the Godhead. So Grace, when you say the fullness, and I feel like this this fish swimming uh, right by me, and this undersea uh, creatures and like little crabs they are familiar with i mean they had lived with these treasures buried treasure for for a long time and almost as if they have been entrusted with guarding <laughs> these treasures they're angel yeah. fish yeah they're <laughs> almost like they it has been made at the as the habitat that's like the treasure of this habitat and i feel like i I mean, I could see from the perspective right now as if I'm in the council, they have been entrusted with, with this important task until like the, almost like as if like the worthy people, when they find out they're the one who's, um, they're going to be inheriting it, like releasing back. I almost like, uh, oh, cause it's, that was at the moment that I felt like there are these mining companies yeah, they want to mine mineral for the sake of mining mineral, uh, right? But it's going to destroy the habitat, or it's going. It's, it doesn't know what what's happening to it, right? Yeah. Um. But then, of course, like I, I feel bad for people who lost it too, right? They, you know, even we might have lost our treasures. No, we don't. These and all that. Yeah. Right? temporarily because I don't yeah. believe we lose anything mm. and I don't think he you know I don't think father takes anything from or allows he's always putting back always restoring always mm. making new always amen. Amen. amen 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 so today till they um so the the important thing that we're here um on behalf of because we came in as units yeah we came in united right mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. We came in to we came in to 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 a place that we were not wanting really to call revival or restoration but the new or whatever yeah. uh -huh. this new um this new aspect in 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 the reality of things and so that we bring it you know it's been brought here and we found this lost treasure and people are treasure where the inheritance of God his children are his inheritance yes his treasure so nothing's ever lost it may lie dormant yeah for a time and and everything but now we're in such we're in this I keep wanting to say dispensation but we're in this time yeah. now I'm outside of time we're here and we're we're here and we're here to do the will of the father. That's what we're here for. To Christ be formed in everyone. Everyone, you know, he's already in them. They, the awareness of him has to be, um, they have to be charged. Stirred. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and that's what this light does. And that's what the fullness of the light is. It's such a, it's such a, it's such a, it's such a powerful, powerful um, resurrection life. Yeah. That, that they almost like get fractured, jerked, <laughs> you know, like as the whole earth is groaning, they're part of that. They're part of the groaning to come back or to be in the father from 
before, even before Adam and Eve. Yeah. Beyond that place. Yeah. This is this is where we're headed, and to bring all with this, everything, every aspect of. Earth or whatever, even the cosmos. Yeah, the universes, the multiverses. Multiverses, yes. And like Jill said, nothing, God doesn't leave any behind. Mm -mm. Or he's not, he's some merciful God. He's merciful, merciful, merciful. Like I am burning with passion right now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I mean, I'm sweating, guys. You know what I mean? Burn. Is running, you know? So, <laughs> so this is this is why nothing is, you know, just Lord help us. <laughs> <laughs> help us put this in words. Combre Stevan da Bracoste. <laughs> Well, I get this word, word, rediscover. Rediscover. Yes. Mm. It, it's almost like we are talking about that many, many children of God or minister or pastor, they they have originally intend to do God's thing, but eventually sometimes they they out of the focus of Jesus you know, mm. no matter what kind of reason, because the pride, because people put them in high places and they lost focus. And and then when we get into this wall of gems, that's what I, I feel like is God wanting us to help them to rediscover discover their own identity, their own yes. purpose that God is calling them to do. At I just feel like there's a, a sense of um, God is bringing us there as one unit, as the body, to identify or to decree and declare, like almost giving us this opportunity to say a, such a blessing, to call for those people who have been walked away or, or lost focus about their, their own identity and inheritance or who they are in Jesus as the gems that they can can call them back. I don't know. So I, I get the we discover. Yeah, and some of them haven't even walked away. Yeah. They haven't walked away. They've yes. lost their way. But yeah, they have walked yeah. away. You know, they have Correct. they're still they're still pursuing <laughs> But they're only, they have allowed themselves to be cut off from the, the breath, the intimacy. Yeah, there's no way we, I mean, we're, we're not separated in any way no. just in our, in our no. intention. So they turn their, or their attention away from it. Yeah. So they have to get they they need to be brought back to um, that ad their attention put their focus back there's another word but there's also a hebrew word where uh, peter mm -hmm. are you are you are you napping or no that was before i'm awake now <laughs> okay um Kind of a what, what's a Hebrew word for uh, turn around is what teshuva? Yes, yeah, teshuva is yeah, one of it. Yeah, repent. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Which isn't this well? I guess you could. It, it, I mean, repent and turn around are really kind of the same thing. I mean, isn't Hebrew, that? Yeah. yeah. Yes. There's another word. Two words. Yeah, teshuva. There was another one. What's the yeah. other one, There's Manny? Other. Um. I'm going to jot it down in notes, dear. I'm going to have to do a little search okay. on my notes. You guys know it. You guys you see it. Okay. I thought you said, I thought you said something. It's okay. You don't have to look. I thought you said something. 
Yeah, there's definitely like two words. Do you remember the two different words um, about repent? Uh, sure, sure, because it's the sure, sure is 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 returning too, is repenting. Yes. Part of it. Return. Is that the word? What is the Hebrew sure. word return? The strip like the water recedes from the uh from from the ground during the days of Noah when you know the, the rain stopped. Some of they all go underground somewhere. So the word that was the word strip that also uh, a return. That's why it meant return. Like return repentance is returning as the water recedes. I see. I see what you mean. Mm -hmm. It's all. It's also a transformed mind, isn't it? Yeah, in the New Testament. Yeah. Renew renewal of the mind. The yeah. New Testament metanoia. Yeah, I don't. I don't know that one about Noah. The change of mind here. Mm -hmm. So we've released these into the wall. Mm -hmm. I feel like this, um, so this is like almost like under this, like under the water is where this, like under sea, these creatures, these are like good, good, good creatures. They're not rebelling against God. They're not like stealing the treasure for their own use. I feel like this is almost like a, a council under, under the water we could engage. Yeah, you, you know, I was being silly. I said they're, yeah. they're angel fish, right? There's such a thing as angel <laughs> fish. But I meant, I, but I meant, you know, spiritual angel fish. But yeah, um, we have about 20 minutes left. Mm -hmm. So um, we can, we, you know, uh, we, we can certainly engage um, a little bit with them. Um, but as you guys were talking, I, I just, you know, I just felt like um, I needed to um, just honor the angels that are present that we saw earlier. And then, of course, this uh, this group, uh, I'll call them angel fish that are uh, with us at the moment, but just to uh thank them and honor them all for, for being here with us as well. Mm. Oh, Joe, like, because when you say the honor. Yes. And it was this, it dawned on me, this, 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 I don't know if they're angel, there's, because it's a sea creatures. Um, Yeah, there's, there's these angels, there's some of them, they were almost at, they were holding scrolls and I'm just seeing them. Oh, okay. Wow. Interesting. And when I look at the sea creatures, it's like the, the word Leviathan came. But it's like, these are Leviathan that are not rebelling against God. Right. They're, they're doing what they're doing. In, in the alignment. Ones. They're in alignment. Mm -hmm. with yes, them. yes. So that's why earlier I was getting this sense of this place is being like well guarded, well kept. Or, I or see. Being preserved. I guess now. I guess I, now I understand the sea, sea creatures are indeed. Uh, like I guess holding in high regard for the, even for the people who had lost the treasure, right? Right. Of course, they're they're sons. Yes. They yeah. they you know the the spirit realm understands our majesty, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. It's it's us yeah. that needs to grab hold of that. Mm. They know who we are. <laughs> yeah. So they have definitely happy like earlier. Uh, Anna said the word we discover. So they're really happy. We are rediscovering this 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 place. Yeah. They're happy for our visit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it affects again, you know, the creation and the sons. So almost like that by itself, it's almost there's this celebration. Yeah. That that we are stepping in right now, that we are willing 
to to pick up the baton or willing to uh, at least like acknowledge what they were doing here. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what we're gonna do next. So I guess maybe I don't know if we there might be guidelines. I don't know if we're leasing it. How do, are we gonna be unearthing it? <laughs> guidelines for what? Yeah. I mean, like almost as if we there's also this council of of these sea creatures that we could understand council like of how this treasure is going to be unleashed back to where it's supposed to be right the things that needs to be restored i don't know if i should call it ministry but like the people's fortune right yeah i think you know a lot of times just mm -hmm. in my um in my experience i've noticed that um the angels do a lot of the re releasing yeah but, and yeah. i don't need to know but mm -hmm. i need to release them into do you know into carrying that forward sometimes i know often i don't well jill i was collecting a lot of those crystals off the the the, the bottom the, the floor there the, the these beautiful glowing crystals like that one was red one was green one was blue different colors and softly glowing i was just taking them inside me so i can release them from my throne or when i come back here just multiply them down here and release them yeah yeah however however you're led um but you know you also mentioned again scrolls manny and those scrolls may be uh scrolls of uh, what's the um, what's the word I'm looking for? Mm -hmm. Strategy that they are given that they were given on how to uh, release these things further. Because we did, you know, we we did that <clears throat> a little bit earlier. We released them back into the wall, and we knew that these things would also flow through us and also to the people, that possibly. Uh, lost them temporarily or set them down yeah but if you're getting anything you know um specific on it also yes yeah, we'll share it and uh, speak that out i'm wondering if the scrolls aren't um uh documents of inheritance they could be too. I mm -hmm. think, yeah, I think, um, yeah, they could be. Because so. earlier, why was it that we mentioned even the word like uh, turning back, right? Because you were. Oh, why did we mention that word? Yeah, earlier. How how did we get to that point that we were? Uh, I think. It, I it came to my mind because it was turn around, um, return. Yeah, turn. Well, I yeah, I heard turn around, and then we heard return, mm. and then I started asking Peter about the Hebrew words, and then he, he just posted some stuff on on our messenger chat. But I guess that word means mm -hmm. yeah, return, go back, come back. Get back, revert, come again. See, it's all what we've been talking about, right? All those words um, define what we've been sensing and talking about. Would you agree? Return, go back, come back, get back, revert, come again. You know, the people for these scrolls or the, the treasure that they set down or... And it also says to call back. Can we call back the people to their destinies in Jesus' name? Amen. To, to their destiny scroll. Oh, recall. Yeah, I see it. I'm sorry. Recall and recover. I miss recover. That. Yeah. So I'm seeing this picture. I don't know if it's like fully related. It's almost as if the people carrying their treasure uh -huh. um, in into almost like a, what are those places that you could actually, they give you a, a value, a price for. Um, pawn shop. Know, yeah, like almost pawn shop, but like more in, in, not like in a, in a 
but it's more exquisite, you know, place that they auction. actually do evaluate, right? Yeah, auction. Uh, um, but it wasn't selling it, but it's almost like I want to appraise that value. I don't know if maybe there are. They appreciate oh, yeah. the value. Yeah. I mean, uh, and so oh, there was wow. this people mm -hmm. when they start to see the value, they really want to appraise it. Ah, appraise. Right. So it was, it's, I almost feel like this, this council was, cause I was, I, I want to ask like this, the good Leviathan. Yeah. That they're not deceiving us. They're and not. I'm just like, I want to know, well, what you, what do you know? What do you, what has been your blueprint? And one shows up, like one, some of the, are, are, are guarding these treasures and, but other, but they're not like with whole care, you know, Withholding. So definitely. Yeah. But the yeah. other one said, like, I'm like, I'm showing people the value. So there was like a appraisal. I see. Yeah. That that is has been his job um over the people who are exploring the treasure uh down below, right? Going deep under. So I, I start seeing this like there are different roles too. Yeah. For these angels slash cre uh, angelic creatures. Yeah, yeah. Even even visiting the people that maybe uh, left them there for a while, you know. You know how they, we know when angels will speak to us. Uh, even in our daily lives. And that's how I saw it too, Manny, that they... They would visit the person who left their treasure temporarily there. I I know for myself I I've had those um, those moments where I see that, and I I've heard I've heard my angel whisper it or. Sometimes it may be Holy Spirit or, yeah. Don, you're very quiet over there. You getting anything? Yeah, but it's, Go ahead. it's a little different than what y'all have gotten, so I'm just going to- That's okay. It. I mean, okay. You don't think it'll it'll deepen or widen what we're discussing? Mm. No. No. Okay. Because it, it, it's I quite can't a hear Don earlier. What was, yeah. it, what was the first thing Don you said? Mm. Well, mm. I I don't know. Um, but Don, I just want to encourage you. I mean, we 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 all do get different pieces. So, mm -hmm. and, and she, well, I seen the ancient keys, and they looked like skeleton keys, but they were ancient keys. I oh, seen the keys. them. Ancient keys. So you thought that they so were? When I go ahead. Um, go on. But I I was it, it uh I took the you know the the skeleton keys as. Uh, for the realm that we entered into here, that's what I thought yes. they were. But you, you felt what that they were for what, Dawn? No, I, I just when we came, we went through that portal. I seen an ancient city, okay, with a river flowing from it. And mm -hmm. when I went in, I went down under, and I was seeing through the water. And as I was looking up through the water. I saw a like wa a white cloud looking. I can't describe what it was. And it like it was like a white cloud substance, and it started swirling around me. Um, and I received and um, it's like I I seen an angel come up underneath me, and mm -hmm. they handed me a scroll. Okay. With a blue ribbon on it. See, I mean, to me, it sounds very similar to what we've all shared. You're you're just seeing it from a different perspective. 
Right. And we can still all partake of that. Right. Yeah. And for me, the keys, the ancient keys were, I feel like it, they're keys that, yes, got us into this. Mm -hmm. But I feel like there were, the key word was keys. And so I feel like there are keys into other, uh, into realms of revelation. Mm -hmm. um, the ancient, I kept getting the ancient of days. Mm -hmm. um, so would you, would um, when you were talking about the white that came around you, you know, it was like glory underwater, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was just wild. <laughs> so yeah. maybe for just a moment, if we could yeah. uh, all just kind of mm -hmm. see that and partake of that. Amen. Amen. And receive the scrolls of, of uh, revelation. Mm -hmm. we, were, we were given uh, keys. Um, or actually, when we had talked about it before, too, Don, we talked about that we, we've had these keys. We've, they've just sort of been uncovered, basically Amen. uncovered. And so that, and so um, it's like, you know, the angel fish that we were talking about that were with the treasure and whatnot was being re, uh, recovered for others that may have left it there. Well, these, the keys that you just spoke about and those scrolls are within us, right? And so they are also being uncovered and recovered for us to see, like in front yeah. of our face, you know, so our uh, attention is, or focus is on them as well. So yeah, and that blue ribbon is for the revealing. The revealing of all this. The I'm glad you shared because I knew I you know. had something to share. I knew you did. Yeah, <laughs> me too. So, so, so please, Miss Dawn, it wasn't really much different. <laughs> when she said, no, I don't think so. I was like over here going, come on, God. <laughs> <laughs> and I just want to encourage you. So please share if it sounds different because it does all it's fit so, together. So Come on, Don. It's just so all part of it. It just culminates. Yeah. So, then, so thank you, Don. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Thank you, Don, for sharing uh, yeah. what you see, definitely. Because it could, it like, because you, when you, because when you share that, I feel like I'm able to access even more. Like, right. Data. Yes. Because we could be in a lot of places at the same time, too, right? Yeah, multidimensional. Oh, yeah, multidimensional. different perspectives. And yeah, and we're all in the same place, even, and we see it different mm -hmm. ways. Because you saw that, and Manny saw something else, but we get the mm -hmm. 360 degrees. Oh, sure. Yeah. Because when you mentioned the ancient city, yeah. guess what? I like, I'm almost sensing this because this. Uh, it's like larger than a river now, but uh, it's almost like this was what people used to be living, or people used to be walking. Like this, this place, like now it's flooded with water. Uh, it's it's meant to almost like preserve. But so there are these these maybe ancient treasures underneath the seabed. Uh, it wasn't mm -hmm. because like a, a down ship or you know a sail, you know. Yeah, it was a no. It's a part, it used to be well. It used to be a city or something. It used to be a ruin. There's lots of cities, even on the yes. earth, that are like yeah. that. They're underwater. Yeah. Mm. With all their mysteries, mm. waiting to be discovered again. Waiting to be. Yes, <laughs> I'm doing that now. So we call them forth now. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Yes. That, you know, when you say that the ancient, you know, the ancient cities that the ruins is. Isaiah 61 talks of mm. yeah. um, the yeah. ancient rooms. Yeah. Um, Don, I can't, a little bit in and out, uh, your voice. Did you say ancient Rome, right? I think I. The I ancient ruins, the ancient, ancient, ruins. ancient, ruins. ancient, ruins. ancient oh, ruins. 
Yeah. Um, like you were talking about, it's like almost like um, Isaiah 61, where uh -huh. it says, Come on. Uh, the planting of the Lord that he may be glorified, that they will rebuild the ancient ruins. Whoa. They will raise up yes. and restore the former <laughs> desolation. Yeah. And they will renew the ruined cities, Good. the desolation, yep. deserted settlements of many generations. Awesome. That's um, Isaiah 61, 4. 4, yep. See, Don, you said the whole conclusion of this Zoom meeting. That's right. Yeah, I you're holding on to this. You, 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 brought, the, you yeah. brought the big picture. <laughs> yeah, everything comes together in a puzzle. Yeah. A bigger picture. Yeah. <laughs> mm. And, you know, I wanted to, I know that this has nothing to do with what we were just talking about, but at the beginning of our conversation with revival, you know, I, and I had said that I don't ever, um, God has never had me praying for revival ever. He's never used that word with me. It's always been awakening. Yeah. Awakening and, is good um, too. Yeah. Wow. And the reason he told me, and I get a lot of people come against me because I say I don't pray for revival. I don't believe that that's what's coming. Well, don't. Because don't let is, them. <laughs> right. Because this is what God has showed me about revival. He says, I'm not trying to revive the old. Right. Right. He said, I'm trying to rid my yeah. people from. Yeah. He's not trying to revive all that. That's, cause that's what revival is. It revives. Right. Right. And he said he's right. not wanting to revive that. And he, you know, so I don't, I just don't never pray for, you know, I, I yeah. don't know what it's going to be called. I just know it's going to be neither. absolutely glorious, glorious. And I'm excited. Yeah. Hey, Don, can I, can I read on further in this? Cause we touched on all of this. Okay. And I'm going to read from where, um, you, okay. So I'm going to start with um, six and carry on. And so in, in verse 61 and six. And you will be called priests, priests of the Lord. You will, oh, my glasses. Um, you will be <laughs> named ministers of our God. You will feed on the wealth of nations and in their riches, you will boast instead of your shame. So we were talking about the old treasure. There was no shame, nothing lost. You will receive mm -hmm. a double portion. And instead of disgrace, you will rejoice in your inheritance and every time you guys were saying you said a word mm. uh, I forget what word you said but I kept hearing celebration and rejoice and so mm -hmm. you will inherit a double portion in your land and everlasting joy will be yours amen amen so that's what with this treasure this treasure in earthen vessels that people think was you know that they put aside or whatever you know, there's no disgrace in it. Like Jill said, there's nothing lost. Right. And and you guys said something I can't think of. You said appraisal, appraise or appraisal. And I heard the word right. to, re, uh, to yes. praise or to rejoice over this. Yeah. <laughs> praise, appraise, yes. Praise. <laughs> so, <laughs> Amen. so thank you for words. that word you gave us, my Lord. Yeah, that was so Woo! good. So the oil of gladness, because I say 61, mm -hmm. it talks about the ashes, mm -hmm. right? The, For ashes the crown ashes. of beauty instead of ashes. Yeah. Yeah, oil and it's joy morning. instead of mourning. Garment of praise. Garment of praise instead of disheartened spirit. Yeah. And the oh, uh you be called trees of righteousness, strong yeah. and magnificent, distinguished for integrity, justice, and right standing with God. Mm -hmm. so good and here it says trees of rain here it says oaks mm -hmm. of righteousness you know oh, it depends on what translation you read yeah but um yeah well let me just close this up unless you, anybody has anything else to share <laughs> <laughs> so I almost I, feel I, like this place wants us to come back yeah, I agree. Almost Amen. like. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, I feel the like. Lord leads. The Lord leads. Go ahead, Anna. Yeah, I feel like it's 
Peter at one time that's talking about the jail and, and then and, and the Jews and then asked <laughs> us to receive and release. And then when we at the end, Don put it so well in conclusion is what our almost our mission of this engagement ascension is a sense that something happened to us because God take us into different um what's that? Um different realms. Yes. And then when we receive, it's doing something for us because we need to be restored. We I need to be aligned with God. Then when we receive all that, we release, that means that today we did something that above our ability or imagination God is using to restore almost sonship to those people that walk away, part, part of the sun walk away. Or, or walk away from their calling or or I mean temporary that they don't they forget the intentions of yes. God in them. We we I just felt like it's just like a release that is a power that God used us to give such a calling or speaking to their spirit to call them back. That's a return, return, yeah. return, 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 return. Yes. you are the son. Yeah. yeah, you you yeah. you need to come back to the intention of God. That is for you, your purpose, your scroll. Wow, that's vague. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank you. And those and those scrolls, those scrolls that have brought revelation is bringing revelation to them as well because that's what they needed. They need to have that restoration for the revelation that that was already burning within them. Amen. Amen. So See, good. those scrolls are like a reminder. Those scrolls will bring Amen. them in remembrance of who they are and, originally and, that God created and the, them. And the keys can open that up in them. Also. Yes. 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 The key of revelation. So mm -hmm. one of the representatives uh, in that council, because now that you, we, we all pointed out this, like he would say, like, uh, we do not want to uh, hold hold it against them. Like we don't, they are not going to, for those who have lost their inheritance. I So like, we I can't say, for example, like maybe in a bad way, well, okay, it's your fault, right? Sometimes then it becomes too heavy for that person. Mm -hmm. Um, So they almost like they were still holding them the hard regard, even though they might have lost the treasure. Or and thought even, they lost it, yeah. Yeah, even it might be at our expense in the past. Like we suffer under it as a result because, you know, so almost like feeling that's that also reconciliation too. Yeah. This, this, this angel, this creature were pointing out, because then how are we going to be able to honor them Again, even they may not know because it's almost like I'm extending that hand toward those who might have wronged against me. They right? might have misunderstood me. So that will be sometime, the, you know, the, how the body is going to reconcile. Yeah. I know. Yeah, it's a good point. Mm -hmm. Really good point. Mm -hmm. Wow. I will not have to mourn anymore. I will not have to feel That's right. the, the loss of opportunity anymore in the past. That means now, Manny. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Do you have something, Grace, before we close? No, I'm just going to say I have to go, but I enjoy the, you guys. I love you guys. And love have a great you. Week. Okay? Yeah, thanks, yeah, for, thank thanks for sharing, sweetie. Thanks for everything, Bye. God. Thank you. Good night, all. Good night. Good night. Yeah, so, Father, I just want to thank you for this, this time together, Lord. <clears throat> the treasure that was uncovered. Um, in others and ourselves <clears throat> and in your glorious uh, realms of the kingdom of, of who you are, of your creations, the multiverses of what you've created and what you're leading us in creating as well, Father. So I just want to frame this up, <clears throat> excuse me, in the light, in the love, and the blood of Yeshua. Amen. Amen, amen and amen. Amen. Yeah.